like for us prior to we'll say pre COVID, we were home like maybe a couple of months out of the year. Yeah, we're blessed to be able to work from home. And uh, uh, but prior but but prior to COVID, like we were traveling a lot. Like yeah. we were home only a couple of months out of the year. We yeah. weren't. Oh yeah, We, that's we true. weren't yeah. really. We weren't really at the house like that. And even when COVID hit, like people also have to think realistically. Like when COVID hit. When they told you to quarantine, that's because that shit had been popping for months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were just trying to figure out whether or not you should quarantine. So people were getting COVID and people were sitting next to people with COVID yeah. left and right. You just didn't know that they had it. You thought that it was that's just true. something else. Like, I I told you Man, before. what about the guy? That's right. <laughs> I told you before. I was sitting next. I was sitting next to an Asian dude. No, no disrespect. <laughs> I was sitting next to an Asian dude, and he wasn't like right next to me, right? He was but he was the, across um, the tour. Yeah, like the latter yeah, half last of, year of, in twenty nineteen. Well, two year, yeah, twenty nineteen. Yeah. Toward towards the the winter months. Yeah, of twenty nineteen. It was towards the end. And he's and he's like across from me on the aisle. And I just see this dude, oh, and oh, he was, and hack, he was in cold hacking sweats, up, hacking up a lung. He has chills. All the rest of it, he has a hoodie on, and he's just coughing like crazy. But when I tell you I did this <laughs> for the whole flight, for the and dude is looking at me like like there's something wrong with me, bro. You in here hacking up a lung? I'm not going. I'm not going. I right hand to God. I bet he had COVID. He probably did right because hand to God. people are saying that COVID didn't just come in, I think it was January when they first started. It was around the Grammys when they yeah. announced that COVID was a thing and it was not just in China. It had made its way to the States. They said that COVID had actually been around since like November of 2019. I think they said I, earlier than that. And if it was around in November, that means that shit was probably around a little earlier than that. It just hadn't reared its ugly head to the public right right <laughs> and i think it's a very high likelihood that bro had covid oh yeah and maybe maybe he tested and well actually no there were no tests no. back then there was no. no way to even test so he probably was written off as just having some type of bug mm-hmm. but it don't change the fact that that shit was very terrifying i was very concerned for his health well, I wasn't concerned for his health. Personally, I was concerned for my own. <laughs> fuck, fuck dudes. If he decided that he wanted to be on an airplane and he was going to breathe up somebody else's cough, that was his prerogative. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I wasn't going for it. I had on a shirt and I had on a hoodie. And I was doing this the whole the time. Whole flight, and I, I looked, remember. And I looked at bro. And I was like, bro, you got me f- up. <laughs> if you think I'm about to be breathing in anything that you spewing out. <laughs> and here I am to this day and I'm straight. Man. And I feel sorry for whoever was sitting next to him because maybe they not. But at, the, but at the end of the day, it just goes to show, like, you know, um, the reality is eventually we just have to move past yeah. and be brave when it comes to COVID and the vaccine, unfortunately, is the lesser of two evils. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you're going to get that package by not taking the vaccine and just being around the wrong people or you're going to you're going to introduce the package to your body on your own and then pray to God that you don't die. Yeah. But either way you're going to get it. There's and, no way around it. Right. And you know, there's ways to stay safe. People have to exercise the ways to stay safe. But there are ways to stay safe like socially distancing and wearing a mask preferably an N95 mask and minimizing when you're traveling minimizing the the whereabouts of where you're going trying to just go to where exactly you're supposed to be and going right back to the hotel or the airbnb and not oh let me go and tour the city let me go and sit at this restaurant and then go to this bar and then my my best friend is at this other bar so let me go over there and then let me hit the club like (laughs) Let's be smart. <laughs> let me bring a nice little, let me bring a nice little chick home. We're gonna wear N ninety fives while we doing it do. But you know, we gotta stay safe. You, know, you feel <laughs> that's and, how they that's how they be getting and down. Let me just say this. We have to stop wearing our mask and putting it under your nose. <laughs> But you know my, you know, you know my <laughs> or, theory about or that. Or bringing your mask to an event and putting it under your chin. <laughs> 
Well, you know, like that's not helping you. Like well, you know, having the mask our is dent- not what's our, protecting you. We are you. blessed, and our dental health <laughs> is good. I know what you're but about these, to say. but these, these people be walking around here with dragon <laughs> breath. How to like breath. <laughs> They bre- your, their breath offends them. So, and I think a lot of people realize that when they had to wear the mask, it was like, yeah, sure, I'll wear a mask. They put the mask on, they were like, they started smelling their own breath. Boy, they had to put that mask underneath their nose. They couldn't even take it. They couldn't even take it. But while my fuck is walking over here with hot breath, one, I think that people should take that as a as a note to say okay maybe i should go to the dentist and get this looked at this halitosis and then after they go to the dentist you really do need to be wearing your mask over your nose because that's going to protect yourself from other germs so it's you're when you're wearing your mask just over your mouth you're only protecting other people from if you're sick and any germs that you might spew out inadvertently right but if you're not wearing your mask over your nose you're literally just breathing in everything 